Today, we're going to talk about genomic testing for prostate cancer. My name is David Keynes, and I'm an associate professor of urology, and I practice in the greater Boston area. So the first question is, what is genomic testing versus genetic testing? Those are two different things, and this can be a point of confusion. Genetic testing is when we test your actual DNA from all cells in your body. We all know that we have genes that give us brown eyes or blue eyes. They influence how tall we are, the size of our feet, whether we have hair on the top of our head or not. Um, we also have genes that make us prone to developing cancer. Okay, and so genetic testing tested these, tests these genes that are available in all the chromosomes in the cells of our body. And so we look for sources of cells that are easy to obtain, like by checking our saliva, swabbing the inside of our cheek is a great source of cells to test our total body DNA. And blood cells with a blood test is also a great source of DNA for genetic testing. So genetic testing is looking for genes that make you prone to cancer. And um, this can influence counseling for your children as far as genetic susceptibility. And then occasionally it can impact which cancer treatments are chosen. But what we're talking about here, if you've received a diagnosis of prostate cancer is genomic testing. And that's a little bit different. In this case, we're checking DNA from the actual cancerous parts of your biopsy specimen. So you've already had a prostate biopsy. That's what led to your diagnosis. Those samples are saved in the pathology lab. They're sent off to a third party company that extracts DNA just from the cancerous cells in your specific biopsy specimen. And then what they do is they test for mutations in your actual cancer cells. So those are not the cells from inside your cheek. Those aren't your genes. They're testing the um, cancer mutations in the DNA of the cancer cells themselves. Now, why is that important? The theory is that um, each company has a panel of mutations, a certain number of mutations that they think are important in determining how prostate cancer behaves. So they have this panel of genes, they test it against your actual cancer cells, and they compare that to a database of other men with prostate cancer, where we already know what the outcome is, how far their cancer extended, whether it spread, whether they needed more treatment, and whether they died from their prostate cancer. And the theory is that this might allow us to make predictions about your cancer. Is it more aggressive than the biopsy suggests? Is there a chance of spread? What's the chance of specific chance of metastasis or spread? And what's the chance of dying from prostate cancer? The question is, when should you get a genomic test? Uh, because you know each of these is not a perfect test. The companies may uh, have data that's backwards looking. It's not always forwards looking. And each company goes about it a different way. Uh, and the results may not be perfect. So when, sh when should you get a genomic test? Really, it boils down to this. You should get one when the path forward is unclear. So for example, if you have low risk or very low risk prostate cancer, the path forward may clearly be that you should do active surveillance. And when you and your urologist are sitting down and discussing what the treatment options are, if the path is clear to both of you, then it may not be necessary to get additional information with a genomic test. On the other hand, uh, if you have very risky prostate cancer and it's clear to everyone involved that treatment is needed, Similarly, it may not be important to get a genomic test. If you're somewhere in the middle and the way forward is actually unclear and everyone's not sure, for example, whether you should do active surveillance or close monitoring 
or have treatment, in certain situations, a genomic test may be one additional piece of information that can serve as a tiebreaker. But, you know, these tests are sometimes difficult to interpret. They give you statistics as a result. So there still may be some lack of clarity and discussion that may need to happen, even if you do get one of these results. The next question is, which test should I get? I don't want to promote any specific company here. So I would just encourage you to do your own research. You can Google genomic testing for prostate cancer, and that will reveal um, the tests that are on the market. Although even that you have to take with a grain of salt because the companies that have spent the most to get their test on page one of Google may show up first. My big picture advice is for you to hit the pause button and decide carefully before you get a test like this, do I really need to get it? Thank you very much, and I hope this was helpful.